Good morning everybody. Uh, this is a quick sort of run around and test around the MFJ Multimode DSP Filter 781 and this is wired to my Yaesu FT200. That's on 500 Hz. This is on 300, 300 Hz CW. Um, I think it is 5, 4 and 300. This is, a hun I believe, 150. This is the narrowest set, 150. There's a bit of drift because my rig has only just been turned on. As you can see there, there's quite a, a wide selection of CW filters. This is the widest, which is 500 Hz. I actually prefer that one, 150, I think, which is the... Uh, the good thing about this filter is you can have it out of line if you don't want it. And I'm just going to do a demonstration about what it's like out of line. You can hear all that. You can hear all that noise. As soon as I put it in, the noise just disappears. Obviously, it's a lot quieter with the filter in. There's not much amplification on this unit, so if you turn it up to where I find it comfortable. It's almost in the web. Um, it could have done with a bit more amplification in the unit itself. Um, as you can see, it's working quite well. And um, this filter does the filtration for packet and Amtor and whatever you want to do, SSTV, PSK. What I'm going to do is try to find the PSK section of 40 meters. If I can't do that, I'll do it on 20. Just to demonstrate that. So um, we'll just push that out at the moment, so we can... Nothing on, on 40. If we go up to um, 20 metres... Most of the bands are pretty dead this morning. Um, so I'm just going to try and see if I can find... God knows what that is. It might be Ross, it might be JT something, I'm not really sure. Troubles with these Digimodes, you never know what they are, because they're... Um, this is um, PSK31.24. And what I'm going to do is try the filter and see what, if I can narrow it down to just one signal. First we've got to put the filter on first. In the moment. We've just got one signal coming through. That's on CW. Those don't do anything. That's on the HF packet. As you can see, it, it it cuts down the background noise, and obviously, there's only one signal coming through. So, if you want to center it on one signal, so you didn't have all the other ones, and it would also cut down on the interference. Let's try the 
That one there is VHF packet, so it's a bit wider. A bit distorted. See, that's more than enough for, for this. That's set on SSTV at the moment. And that cuts down a lot of the noise. That's about the best one of them all. But where this thing shines, um, it tends to be on the CW. Yeah, no, the, the yeah, the CW section on 20 meters is pretty flat at the moment. As you gather, put it on 20, you've got more chance on 40 meters. Forty meters is more alive. Most of the bands are not alive. Uh, uh, very much this time of year and the weather's not very good either um, so there you have it you hear the multi-mode filter that's the noise coming in as soon as you put that in it makes it a lot easier to hear the, um, the set itself without all the noise. Um, the other thing I've added to my setup, I'm just going to um, zoom out a minute. Oops. That's a good thing about this camera, it zooms out. Um, is the desk mic. Now I've got the Yasu 844 desk mic, uh, which is this one here. Uh, what I'm going to do is put it on 100, which is where I had it last night. Uh, switch in the dummy load, and let you know what what this microphone that this microphone works. And if you watch the power meter, uh, one two three, one two three four five, one two three, and that's about 150 watts. And through my um, new desk mic, um, I resprayed that one. Put another cable on, it's a bit short, but I, it's long enough. I don't want RF getting in, so I've put a bead round it as well to protect that. I've also got my key wired up for doing Morse, just to prove that um, that, that, that actually works. And um, put it on the CW. Um, Yeah, that noise is because I've got the microphone plugged in. If you've got the microphone plugged in, you get a kind of funny noise um, coming out of the radio itself. Um, so you, one thing you'll notice when you're using the filter is that it kills your side tone. It knocks your side tone out. So you have to rely on that green light when you're sending, when you're using that filter. It's just the way it is, because this filter's working on the speaker output. Um, so that is a little bit of a pain. You, you do have to get used, so I'm gonna make a cable for that. So when it transmits, it turns off the filter and then turns it back on when it receives. Um, I haven't got around to doing that at the moment. So I, I probably missed something there, but that's how that wig sounds on Morse. And, and the wig I'm using, as you know,
the ESO FT200. So I can send more. I can't receive it very well though. That's um, uh, one of those things, unfortunately. Uh, but anyway, that's a little introduction to my filter and to the Yesu YT844 desk microphone, which is what's actually made for this. So I hope you um, got something out of this short video. One thing that is always worth having while I'm at it is make sure if you can, you can have the hand mic. I mean, I got this hand microphone on eBay. It was about £20. I had one and I gave it away to somebody like a fool and then this one came up and I thought I'd better buy this one. Um, I don't know what made me get rid of it, the original mic for. Um, I sold it to a mate of mine on one of the frequencies and suddenly realised I might, if I sell it, I want to sell it with everything that came with it. Uh, I've got the complete lineup now, including the two microphones. All I need now is the YH55 headphones, and I got everything that went with that when it was new. So, 73 to everyone from the Amateur Radio Nut House of the Nutty Aspie Radio Ham, as I call myself. And um, I hope that demonstrated the 781 filter. If you've got a rig that doesn't have options to have a filter, like the, some of the old Kenwoods, then the MFJ781 filter will do the trick. They also do a CW one. And they're available from people like Radio World, Walters and Stanton, probably Lynch and Sons probably sell them. And they're well worth an investment. In fact, I, I prefer them over the rock filter. Because uh, they, uh, I just, I don't know why, I just like a tunable filter. Um, so, nice to see you. To see you nice, as a famous man says. Uh, and I hope to catch you again soon, all 12 stone of you. Right, thank you very much.